This is Science Max. Experiments at large. Science Max! <sighs> Greetings, Science Maximites. <clears throat> Welcome to Science Max. <clears throat> Experiments at large. My name is Phil. And today, we're going to be looking at water. But <clears throat> water is very heavy. But that's OK, because we need it to be heavy for this experiment to work. I don't know if I need that much of it, though. Maybe I can get, um, oh, here we go. Yeah, that's probably all I need. Today, we're going to be building a water-powered car. You'll need a base for your car, like this styrofoam, water bottles, shish kebab skewers, straws, scissors, elastics, paper plates, tape, a square of paper towel, modeling clay, vinegar, baking soda, water, and glue or a hot glue gun if you have an adult to help you, and... Uh, yeah, I know, this one is pretty involved. That's why you should go to the website for step-by-step -step instructions. Take your paper plates and glue two together to make a wheel. Then make three more. Wrap elastics around your base and then tape straws on the bottom. Trim them down, maybe about that much. Then take your shish kebab skewers and push it through a water bottle cap to make a hole. Then stick one wheel on, put the skewer through the straw, and do the same thing on the other three sides. Then take the water bottle cap and get an adult to help you make a perfect hole in it so that it fits your straw. Then use some modeling clay and hot glue to seal the straw and the cap so it's airtight. Attach the water bottle to the base of your car, then fill it with some water and vinegar. Next, you'll want to wrap up a spoonful of baking soda in the square of paper towel so you can make a little package. Finally, stick something underneath the underside of the bottle to raise the end up off the base. Bring your cap and then go outside. Ah, here we are outside. Yeah, I know, we're not really outside, but I have a science lab and you probably don't, so I highly recommend you do this outside. And don't forget your safety glasses. Now, this is why we make a little packet of baking soda, because we want to delay this reaction as long as we can. So I like to hold it there. We'll hold it there with one finger so I can get the cap ready, because we don't want it to react until we can get the cap on and then kink the straw to keep the pressure inside till we're ready to let it go. Then at the last second, you want to drop that packet in and quickly cap it and kink the straw. And woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> there you go, a water powered car. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute, that's a vinegar and baking soda powered car. Well, kind of. The vinegar and baking soda create a gas, and that gas creates pressure in the bottle, and that pressure forces the water out of the bottle. But it's the water leaving the bottle that creates the thrust. The water going that way pushes the car that way. Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Ha, 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 ha!